Hey guys, Polo here, back with another video. So a lot of people do ask me, do I use Photoshop or how do you make your thumbnails? So the answer is I actually use paint.net, which is a free program and I'll leave everything that I mention in the description below. So today I will be teaching you how to make a great thumbnail. So basically if you follow all of the steps in this video, you should be able to make any type of channel art or graphic design pretty well and you will be much, much more experienced. So today I'll be specifically showing you how to make a YouTube thumbnail. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on new. And then for a YouTube thumbnail, the dimensions are 1280 by 720. So we're going to select that. Once you do that, you can press control and press the scroll wheel in or out to adjust here. Or you could just go down here and manually adjust it. So here's all the history and it's going to show you what I click on or which items I use for the tools. So that should give you an idea on how I do the things. So basically, I have many different styles of thumbnails, but one of the styles of thumbnails that I'm really enjoying right now is the one where you have a picture and a line across and another picture here and possibly some text in the middle. So I'll be showing you how to create the thumbnail for my recent video. So basically, I chose two shots that I think were the best in the video that I made. So I'm going to get this first shot right here and I'll drag it in, click add layer and then I'll readjust it. So if you want to just readjust like that, you could do that. So if you want to keep the same dimensions or keep the same ratio, make sure to click shift at the same time and then drag. And it'll stay the same way, but it'll just enlarge the image. So now that I repositioned the shot, now I'm going to come in here and I click that and then click anywhere I want to deselect. That's how I find it the best way. So you do not want to put the line on the same layer because that's going to mess you up later on. So just go and click right here, add new layer. And now go in here to your shapes and make sure to click on spline. Now for the brush width, I usually put a 12 and I'll choose the color white. Now I just select where I want to place this line. Let's just say I want to place it right here. So now that I selected that, I'll go in here again, click that to deselect the layer. So now I'll go in here back to my background layer, which is the one on the left. Also, you can double click on the layer to uh, put different blending modes, but I do not recommend messing with that right now. So you could actually change the name of the layer. I'm just going to leave it as is. So now I'm going to come in here with the magic wand and Basically, the tolerance is is that if you have a lower percentage, it's going to give you less amount of space, but it is going to give you a more precise selection. But if you have a greater amount of tolerance, then it's going to select a greater amount and less precise. I'm just going to leave it at 50%. So I'm going to select this side, which I want. So a trick is that if you select this side, right, it's going to select everything because it imagines the picture in itself. It doesn't see the line. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the layer three and you're going to go back to the magic wand. And then basically now the line, it knows that it's on this side or on this side. So you're going to select this side that you don't want. So now that that side is selected, you can click back on the left side of the picture. So then you're deleting that. Now just press delete and there we go. You could still see that there is a few pixels here, but that is not the biggest concern. You can always go in here to the lasso tool or something and just go in for a quick trim right here. Okay, so now that things are the way you want it to be, create another layer and then go here to the second picture that you have, drag it in. Now, you don't have to add another layer, but sometimes I do recommend it if you do have a very large image. So now that you have this image here, we upscale it to however we want around estimated. So you might be wondering, well, I don't see the line. So how do I see the line? So you're going to get this layer, drag it underneath the line. So now you have a rough estimate of how your shot is going to look. So I'm just going to, cause I don't want any white space. Uh, so I'm just gonna say 
something like this should do the trick. That looks nice. So now, again, like I said, you should drag it above this time. Or actually, no, you could leave it there. Go back to layer 3, which is the layer with a line. Magic wand. Select this side. Go back to the right side of the picture. So the picture that's here. So you're trying to delete that so then it's not interfering right here. Press delete. Bam. You have this. An amazing thumbnail. Now all you have to do, you can add some text, but I could just leave it like this. But if you do want to add some text, I'll show you how to do that. Go here, add new layer. You don't want anything to interfere with the previous layer. Always remember that. New layer, new layer, new layer. If you're going to add text, new layer. So you create a new layer. Go to fonts or the T sign, T symbol. I use this font. It's a pretty nice font. Then you could just put here $40 or something. So let's just say you want that, okay? And then just make it like that. And then that's it. That's how you make a thumbnail like I do. It's actually really quick. So yeah, that's how you make the thumbnails. It's really not that hard. If you practice a lot, you will see how easy it actually does get. You could do this in five minutes if you do have a lot of practice. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to share this video because I know a lot of people that don't know how to make proper thumbnails. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and peace.